What's up, Basil Babes? Child, I had to step on here real quick. So I'm sitting in the car. Look, I'm sitting in the car, right? Minding my business. That's what y'all know I was minding my business. So the basketball team, they're inside. They went inside to eat at this place called the Varsity. I guess the Varsity is popular. The varsity is popular. <laughs> you see this little girl right here? So anyway, I was minding my business. And y'all know, I t you know I run my mouth a lot, right? So this lady comes up to me. And you know, she's, she's on her struggle or whatever. I'm on, and she'll know I'm on my struggle too. I'm like, boo, I can't help you. I'm on my struggle too. You having house problems? I'm having house problems. You know? So, you know, so I just start talking to her. I was like, so what's your situation? Blah, blah, blah. And your little girl, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, she my cousin now. <laughs> Why are you running now? <laughs> and what's your name? Deaja. Deaja. Did you like the donuts I gave you? Go ahead, eat it. Go ahead, eat your donut. This is this what you go ahead, eat that donut, girl. What kind of donuts are they? Mm. Powder donuts. Mm -hmm. And what grade are you going to? Third. You going to the third grade? Now, is she in school, mom? <laughs> yes. Don't come on over. You ain't shy because you came over here asking for some coins. So come on, come on over here. What's that? <laughs> So, oh. mm -mm, now you want to act all shy, I put you on camera, right? Oh, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Right. So you got the camera experience. So she, yes. So she want to come over here and ask for coins and stuff. No, honey, no. Now, now we going to have a chit-chat. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. So now she want to act all shy, but she wasn't shy when she came up here to ask for some coins. And I was like, I don't got no coins. Then she was like, I just feel like, you know, I want to talk to you. Uh -uh. Okay. They don't, she don't know I like to talk. So come on, Cletus. Come on. <laughs> oh, she a comedian. <laughs> oh, okay. no, no, no. See, now she want to run and stuff. Okay, let's take, talk about your baby. Well, how, how, how far along? Come on. Come on. How far oh. along are you? I'm nine. So I'm, what are you going to do? Eight. What are you going to do when you have the baby? Come on, take uh, care of it. And how how did how did you think she's gonna take care of it? Let it go to sleep. So mm -hmm. where are you guys gonna be? To, to the museum. You gonna go to the children's museum? Yes. And what is and what is she having? A boy. Huh? A boy. She's having a boy. What's the what's his name? What are you gonna MJ. name the baby? MJ. And what does MJ stand for? No. What does the MJ stand for? Uh, M? Mom, what does the MJ stand for? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Mom. Hello, Mommy. I love Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is the MJ, see? <laughs> What happened was she done walked up to the wrong car. She ain't know she was gonna walk up to a car with somebody that's gonna be talking to her tail. <laughs> Look, got her. <laughs> got he. <laughs> got he. <laughs> <laughs> you done walked, walked up to the wrong car, sister, cause I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay, so how far along is the baby? Uh, um, one more month. Eight months. Come back. <laughs> you come on back. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, so she's a superstar. What do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. Ooh, did y'all hear that? What kind of teacher? Oh. Uh... What do you want to teach? Teacher. You want to be a nice teacher? I want to teach. Can I tell you a secret? Let me tell her. What did you know what she wants to be when she grows up? She said a teacher. Can I tell you a secret? Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. Uh, <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Go back. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. So what do you want to teach? I'm a teacher. You know what I teach? I teach uh, English. I'm an English teacher. 
and my favorite grade to teach, you know what it is? Third grade. Oh, wow. You wanna see a picture of my classroom that I'm, that I'm setting up for this year? But this year I'll be teaching seventh grade. You wanna see what my classroom is gonna look like so far? We're still fixing it up. You wanna see a picture? She said she could sing too. What you got? Um, okay, don't be shying off. Cause when somebody rap. say, "Oh, get, get it," she rap too. I sing gospel. She rap too. Okay, what you waiting? I finished. Hold on, I'm gonna hit a note for you. So she said she gonna hit a hit a hit a note. Let's see what she got. Leave it on your leave it yeah. on your face first. I'll uh -uh. do it while you while okay. you got that, while your face on there. All right, let me see what I can say. Uh, I believe I can fly. You know, what is this car doing? I hope your what car. What the hell? You might want to turn it. Turn it's it. off. Is it blink? I see a light blinking on. You sure there ain't nothing else on? Your lights ain't on? It's not doing nothing. It's dead, dead. Okay, come on. And child being out here talking on, to her, I done burned my battery out and all that <laughs> driving now the yeah. car's doing something Surprise! crazy. The car won't turn on or nothing. Ain't this a blimp? Okay, go ahead, girl. So <laughs> I can figure out this car. My battery's about to die, so you got a few seconds. All right. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stay no matter what may come my way. My life is in your hands. No matter what may come my way. My life is in your hands. With Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I can stand No matter what What's up Bats Babes? I just took my eyelashes off chow. We just made it back to our rooms. Finally, I have had 45 minutes of sleep. Yes, just 45 minutes. And it is 11 o'clock. And um, I was just reflecting it on the day, and it's, it has been a journey. <laughs> it has been a journey um, traveling all the way to Atlanta, and then how things ended up. My battery, well, I was distracted when the lady came up to me, talking to me, and I started talking to her and the little girl. And I know everybody, they, they have their hustle. They have their hustle. But I can honestly say I've never met a stranger in my entire life. I remember one girl I met online and I invited her to a party I was having at my house or whatever. And she was like, she's too friendly, what's going on? You know, she was a little skeptical and we ended up being becoming great friends. <laughs> So she had mace and everything in her purse because she was like, you know, no one is this friendly. You're like, yes. And I'm not gonna go through life afraid to talk to people. And like I told the lady, I said, you coming up here, you telling your story about, you know, you don't have no home. But I know everybody has a hustle. So, you know, how much am I really gonna believe? I don't know. But that's what she wanted to share with me. And I was like, okay, you're having home problems, uh, so am I. Just because I might look like this and you might look like that doesn't make me better than any better than you. We both have our issues. I don't got nothing for you, boo. I don't, I don't have it. And I talked to her like a human being. You know, she out there begging for money with the little girl, whether or not that was her daughter, I don't know, the little girl. So I, I end up talking to the little girl and vlogging with the little girl and I vlogged a little with the mom she, you come up to me you having a conversation so I hope you know what you doing you come up to me child you better be ready to chit chat period <laughs> you better be ready to chit chat period <laughs> so and I enjoy talking to her learning a little bit about her whether or not it's the truth I don't know I felt a good energy um, but I was always aware of my surroundings and what's meant for you or what's meant for me can never be avoided. If it's meant for me to have a heart attack, I can't prevent that heart attack. If it, 
it's just gonna happen, it's just gonna happen. If you had a heart attack, it was meant for you to have that heart attack. You know what I'm saying? What, dang, my camera acting funky tonight? You know, you know what I mean? If it was meant for you to meet somebody at that point in time, that's your destiny. It, that's what was supposed to happen. We can't change, you know, what was supposed to happen. You know, just like I opened a soda and a soda spilled. It was supposed to happen. Cause that's what happened. <laughs> Our hotel sucked because that was supposed to happen. Maybe it was to lead us here, lead us down different paths or to have that experience and the girls, we don't know, but things happen for a reason and we can't avoid certain things. So I'm like, hey, if she was here to rob me or shoot me or whatever, then it was supposed to happen. So I'm not gonna live my life in fear and not talk to people because, oh, I don't know, you know, what they're gonna do or something like that. If it was meant for her to rob me, then that's what was meant to happen. You know, so. But I enjoyed talking to her and then um, somebody else, I guess earlier somebody had given her $10 while she was talking to me. Cause she walked away, I was like, okay, bye, take care. And she walked away to get the money. Then she talked to the lady a few seconds or the lady said something to her for a few seconds. And then she came back to my car and she says, you know, you know, I really like you, you're really nice. And I was like, you know, I don't got none, right? She was like, I know, but I like talking to you. And you know, I was saying, what are you gonna do for you, you your baby? Because she was pregnant, she was eight months pregnant. I was like, don't you want better for your child? There was a little girl, she said she was going to the third grade. And I asked the little girl, what do you wanna be? And I said, I gotta tell you a secret. So, you know, so I was talking to her, like, what do you want for your child? Do you want, what are you gonna offer your child? Is this the life? But I don't know, some people out there hustling, just trying to make a few extra dollars or whatever. So, you know, I didn't wanna get too invested because I don't know how much of the story is the truth. But if you out there begging, you, you down on your luck, period, period. Um, I'm down on my luck, but I'm not so so down where I'm ready to go out there and beg. I might ask for some donations off my teacher's wish list. <laughs> you know, oh my ankles are so swollen, my feet. I need to I need to put my feet up. But I feel as though don't go through life missing opportunities, talking to people and getting to know people because of fear. Because then you're letting fear fear paralyze you because you never know just talking to a person how much that can affect them you know what i'm saying so you you still want to treat people you're no better than somebody else i'm no better than i'm no better than her she, she's having home problems i'm having home problems i'm like okay we we, we homeless together so i'm like but what makes me better nothing Absolutely, she's a human being. She was a human being to me and that's why I spoke to her. I was trying to edit a video for y'all. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> you know, initially I'm like, yes. And I rolled the windows down because I was waiting for the girls to come out of the restaurant because I didn't want any of that food. So I just said, let me take this minute, A, to either take a quick nap, or I said, let me try to, to edit some videos. And so when she came over, I rolled up one window because I had rolled down the windows because I wanted to turn off the car. And I rolled up one window just in case somebody came to that side. So I'm always aware of my surroundings and I kept look, checking my mirrors to see if something was shady. But I felt that good energy from her. And after she knew that she wasn't getting anything, I, I gave her the daughter some white powdered donuts. I tried to do something with the white powdered donuts again, but I ended up giving them to her daughter. And, um... Uh, so the daughter, I swear to God, you know what the little girl started doing? She started taking the white powdered donuts and putting them on her lips. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is my little girl right here. <laughs> and so um, I enjoyed talking to her and she was an amazing singer. You know, I learned a lot about her and um, I gave her my YouTube channel. She, she doesn't watch, you know, videos and stuff. And you know, when I brought out the camera to, to um, vlog with her, and I just don't miss a blessing. You know, just being kind to people, no matter who they are, because we're no better than, I'm no better than her, she's no better than me. Just kindness goes a long way. And just like I told the girls in the car, we were talking, and I was like, people will forget what you've done for them, but they will always, 
always remember. And don't you forget, people will always remember how you made them feel. I, I, I mean this with everything in my heart. So you can do X, Y, and Z for people, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Never, never. And just taking those few moments, talking to her, I believe in my heart she'll remember that forever. Because how many people are gonna take that much time out of their day to have a full-blown conversation and take interest in her? in her story, her life, in her little girl's life, whether that was her sister, her cousin, her niece, whatever. How many people are gonna do that? None. They'll probably give us some food, give her a few dollars and keep it moving. Nope. You done came to the wrong car, lady. We are gonna have a conversation. I may not call you on the telephone, but if you see me in person, I'ma talk to you to death. And y'all know I talk a lot, but remember, Everyone deserves kindness and they deserve respect. And don't shun someone just because they're not like you. You know, or they may not look like you or their status might be different. You are no better than the next person, honey. No, you're not. No, you're not. Shoot, and after, and after listening to her story, shh, I'm like, okay, we both sound like we in a homeless boat. And um, I enjoy I enjoy talking to her. I enjoy putting down um, my computer because I was starting to edit and spending those few moments with her and her little girl. Little girl was all up in the car and stuff, talking to um, Bobby and the other two girls. And they and they talked there. She huffed. that little girl. She was like my twin, really. The little girl jumped in the car and hugged all three of the girls. And then she got out of the car that she hugged me a long time and I hugged her. And I was like, see, she might as well just come with us. I said, see, well, I said, what would you say? She was like, no, no, she's my sweet girl. I said, well, what if it meant that we could offer her a better life? She was like, well, if, you know, if it really, really came down to it. You know, I have to do what I have to do. I said, well, good. You need to take care of both the little babies right here. Cause you know, she's pregnant. And she was like, I will, I will. I was like, okay. And then, the battery in my car died because I was distracted. I left my lights on and all that stuff talking to the lady so darn long. Yeah, I know I'll talk to y'all to death just like this video is probably going to be too long. Ah, well, I'm going to shower and crawl in bed. I really, this is a nice hotel, but I don't really like the smell of it. So, um, the girls are all situated. What they're doing, I don't know. Should we walk down there and see what they're doing? Hmm. Let me text Bobby. I know girls, that got to I so can like make it. Y'all like this room better? Oh, yes. This I is know it. that I <laughs> can't stand <laughs> no matter what may come my way. My life is in your hands No matter what may come my way My life is in your hands With Jesus I can make it With Jesus I can stand No matter